little tutorial on how to use the uh, software that uh, comes with the uh, Cori book. Uh, I think you'll find it uh, pretty interesting. Uh, might be a little confusing at first because it is uh, very um, sort of technical in nature. It's not musical, but then again, it is uh, technical ear training, not musical ear training. So, uh, well, it's both, but you, you know what I mean. So anyways, uh, you'll want to put the audio production uh, DVD in, uh, and when you do that, you'll be able to open it up, and you'll basically click on Mac modules if you're on a Mac, or Windows module if you're on a Windows. You can double click on that, and what it'll do, it'll basically uh, unzip the zip file here, and uh, then you'll, it'll just pop open in your window. You can go ahead and open it up, and uh, the first one, and the one that we're going to be looking mostly at is the practice EQ. So um, this is what we'd be calling a spectral ear training. So we'll click on that. Um, it opens up uh, pretty quickly. Um, so uh, this is actually, it runs, it, it's, it's its own software, but it runs off this other musical uh, software called Max MSP. Um, and it was designed in that, uh, even though it's its own standalone program. Um, the first type of uh, things we're going to have you do is dealing with the pink noise tab. So if you just press on the pink noise tab, um, you will actually get uh, pink noise. Uh, if you look here right now, it's saying what the output is, and uh, you probably just want to leave it on Core Audio uh, built-in output if you're on a Mac. Uh, if you do have some type of interface, that will show up here as well. Um, but if you wanted just to come out the computer speakers or out the computer and then you can plug in your brand new headphones, um, then uh, you have to decide an audio engine here. Uh, here is the audio on button. Once you turn that on, you will start to get sound out of this thing. So I turn it on and we have the nice dulcet tones of pink noise. I'm not sure if you're actually hearing it on the screen recording, but you can actually see we're getting pink noise. Kind of sounds like we're at the beach or something. So I'll raise that up, and you can see we, 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 we can raise the level to whatever we think is acceptable. Um, and what we can do is, so this is basically the monitor section. Whether we're doing a sound file, we can actually load a sound file down in here. We'll do that in a second. And whether we want to listen in stereo or mono. But for right now, we'll want to just be stereo. Um, you can go further into the audio preferences here, but this is your main monitor section. Uh, when you talk about your study section here, um, or what skill you want to do, I would start with matching. It's the easiest. I would make sure it's on one octave resolution, meaning whatever it's going to boost over here by 12 dB, it'll uh, be a one octave range. Uh, it'll only be one band at a time, meaning it'll only be boosting one area at a time. And then you can set your frequency range. I would just leave it to 63 to 16. Uh, for uh, some of you who don't have the prescribed headphones, it's going to be very hard for you to probably hear anything under 250. Um, that being said, you will be tested on things that are far below uh, 250, um, so you will need to be practicing. So basically, uh, the software in matching mode works uh, pretty straightforward, and um, basically what it does is you, right now, it's in just normal pink noise, when I hit question, it'll if you hear that, it boosted at 12 dB a certain frequency. Now, it's not telling us what that frequency is, but what we do is we go to our response, and we go and try to figure out what frequency we think that is. I think it's somewhere up around 10, so let's try that. That sounds about right. Now, with matching, I can always go back and double check. So here's the question. That sounds pretty similar to my response. Notice if I lower it, uh, 4,000, no, that's different. So I probably, it's somewhere around 8,000, all right? So the way I can check my answer is to go over here and hit the check answer button. And if you see here, I was correct. It is uh, a 12 dB boost at 8,000. And then you can just go on to the next question. So you can keep, and it always goes to the bypass, goes back to the original format, and uh, it continues on. Uh, just, you know, uh, click the question, 
you can hear. Now this may be very hard for you to hear. It's hard for me, I'm wearing earbuds right now, so it's very hard for me to hear this. I'm assuming it's very low. I'm gonna say 60. I'm gonna go with 63, but the headphones I'm using are not critical listening headphones, so it's tough for me to tell. Check my answer. I was actually wrong. It was 125. And you know, this just goes to prove that you really need headphones that are gonna be allow you to listen critically. Uh, other than that, you can load in a sound file. Let's say you, you have a favorite song. Uh, I have some listening here that I always recommend for you. Let's do uh, Holiday by, the, uh, by Weezer. Um, and uh, let's go to the next question. When we do so now, um, we want to go over here to the monitor section and switch to sound file. And instead, it'll play this wonderful sound file. And we can go ahead and do the same thing by putting in question mode, figuring out where that boost was, and entering our own response and then checking our answer. For right now, let's focus on using pink noise because I think this will help us just initially figure out you know, what octave and what band it's actually boosting uh, at 12 dB. Later on, as you see, we can do it cuts by 12 dB. It could be plus or minus. We get into the minutia of nine, six, and then even three or any combination of that. Now, this course that goes way beyond the scope of this course, but um, you know, for an engineer who wants to continue training, um, you know, we we have we have the ability within the software. Um, the Q you don't have to worry about for right now. Leave it at two. That's a pretty uh, middle of the road Q, or in other words, the bandwidth of of the band that it's boosting. Um, so those are the very basics. Uh, we might do another video on this later if we get into some more advanced stuff. Uh, but for right now, I would be practicing with pink noise and uh, boosting uh, and doing matching, uh, boosting by 12 dB. Um, and that'll probably be what the first quiz is mostly about. Great. Uh, you can always email me at douglas.bielmeyer at mtsu.edu if you have any questions um, or concerns about using the software. All right, thanks.